Hi guys! Today I'll show you specifically how I photograph my art to make prints out of it at home. First of all, you need to make sure that your drawing or painting is completely clean before photographing it. Take some time to take a very close look at it to make sure that there is no dust or pet hair or anything else on top of the surface. Once you're certain that it is completely clean, you need to stabilize it somewhere so that it doesn't shake or move at all while photographing it. The way I do it is to take the painting, put it on top of a foam board and then on top of my desk. That way I know that it is flat, it won't move and the foam board helps me with the color a little bit, it is not reflective and the white border around the painting helps me with the alignment. I use an arm like the one you see in the video to hold my phone on top of the painting or the drawing. You can do the same with a camera if you have one or with your phone the same way I do it. I will explain the details about the phone later because not any phone will do for that purpose. You need to have a high quality camera on your phone so that the quality of the print is good as well. Now, the alignment of the camera with your artwork is crucial here. You need to make sure that there is no distortion of your image, that the, both surfaces are completely aligned with each other and, of course, the sides are completely aligned with the sides of the image that your camera will give you. It sounds easier than it actually is to find the right balance, but with practice and time it gets easier, I promise. <laughs> Next thing to consider is the lighting of your painting or drawing. I do it inside, I have two huge lights, one on each side of my artwork. You can see here that one of the lights is literally outside of the room in the hall because I need to keep my distance so that it is not... so that the light is diffused and it is equally distributed on top of my artwork. I don't want certain uh, areas to be lighter than others just because of the lighting. I need to make sure that the lighting is even and it shows my artwork exactly how it is in real life. Shooting like that and knowing exactly where to place my lights every single time and keeping the circumstances the same helps me with editing later on. If you do it over and over again you know what you need to adjust every single time because the circumstances are the same so the slight differences between the photo and drawing will be the same so I don't really think too much every time with the editing just because I know exactly what will look slightly different in the photo than in the artwork itself now, as I said earlier, I have a high quality camera on my phone, which I bought exactly for this reason. So you may need to get a camera or a better phone in order to do this properly. I make sure that my camera is set at 20 megapixels and I shoot in RAW format, which I think is pretty much necessary to create good quality prints. RAW format means that you get the top quality image of your artwork and there are no filters attached to it. You get exactly what you see and then you can edit it according to the differences from your artwork. A normal JPEG image doesn't hold as much detail and um, as it gets transferred from one device to the other and gets edited, it gets worse with time. Now, I'm not ex an expert on this stuff but I've read a lot and that's what I've learned from experts, so I'm just transferring the knowledge. Now, there are other settings on my phone that I play around with for uh, this photo shooting, which I'm not going to mention here because I'm far from an expert for them and I barely understand what they do. I just did a lot of research at some point and I now know that the settings that I need to use. If you have any settings that you can change on your camera, just Google search them, find specifically the terms and see what will suit you best. Just play around with them and see with what settings you get the best results for your prints. Now a couple of things to consider for sure is first of all the focus. Obviously you need to make sure that your camera is properly focused on your artwork and gets all the detail possible. And then I personally use a 10 second timer on my phone so that the shake from my uh, finger on the phone doesn't transfer on the photo. It has 10 seconds to cool down, stabilize itself and then shoot the photograph. I think you can do it remotely too or with some device but I don't have one so I use a 10 second timer to let the phone stabilize, cool down and get 
a nice sharp photo of my artwork. One trick to up the quality of your image if you don't have a very high quality camera is to take multiple photos of your artwork and then stitch them together in a program like Photoshop or any other program that makes the same thing. You can uh, slice your artwork in four, for example, take four different images, one for each corner of your artwork, and then stitch them together in one big file. That way you get four times the quality that you would get if you photographed your artwork with just one photo. It's just a little trick that you can use. Uh, other artists do the same with scanning their artwork if it is big and it can't fit in the scanner. So it's definitely doable. It will take some extra time, but it will give you very good quality image to print from. Lastly, make sure that during the countdown you stay away from the artwork, the lights and everything else so that you don't affect the lighting, the color, you don't put any accidental shade on top of your artwork and the color of the surroundings uh, reflect a little bit on the artwork so keep your clothes and yourself away from the artwork while the photograph is taken. I think that's all I can mention without getting into territories that I don't know enough about to feel comfortable sharing with you. I'm sorry that I didn't get into the details of my phone settings because of that. I just don't want to give you information that are false. I prefer giving you less information and making sure that they are correct instead of saying things that I don't really understand myself and getting you in trouble together with me. I hope this video was useful to you either way and if you need anything else or any other details I could share with you, please let me know in the comments below. If you did like this video, please leave it a thumbs up before you go so that others know that it was useful and that they should watch it too. Consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this and for more art videos. I'm uploading twice per week now. If you'd like to further support this channel, you could share this video with other artists that you think might find it useful. And there's a coffee link in the description below for those of you who would like to take it a step even further. I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, be safe, be happy and keep going for your dreams. Bye.